In recent days, the NBA world has been buzzing with intriguing rumors involving Stephen Curry and a possible destination in Los Angeles. What started as a simple gesture on social media has sparked a wave of speculation about a trade that could unite Curry and LeBron James on one of basketball's biggest stages. Are we on the verge of witnessing a significant shift in the league? In this video, we'll dive into all the details of this fascinating situation that could shape the future of the Warriors and Curry himself. It's always exciting to discuss the moves and strategies surrounding our team. And before we begin, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Your subscription is crucial to strengthening our Dubs community and ensuring you stay updated with the latest news and rumors about the Golden State Warriors. Now, let's dive into this new and intriguing NBA story. Recently, Stephen Curry caused a stir among NBA fans by removing the Golden State Warriors from his Instagram bio. This small gesture sparked a wave of speculation about a possible move for the four-time league champion to another team. Media observers quickly pointed out an intriguing factor. A joint post with LeBron James. What could this mean? Could we be looking at a potential trade that would have Curry playing alongside LeBron with the Los Angeles Lakers? But would the Warriors really consider parting ways with one of their greatest icons? Even as the team continues to fight for a playoff spot in the next two years of Curry's contract, having such an iconic player on the team could be a strong motivator for Golden State to reject any offers that might come their way. On the other hand, what if Curry decided to reach out to the front office, suggesting a move to join LeBron in Los Angeles? Could this be the path the Warriors would be ready to consider, respecting Curry's wishes and starting a team restructuring? One of the key issues for the Lakers is how to accommodate Curry's $55.8 million salary. To do so, they would need to reorganize their roster, triggering a hard salary cap currently set at $188.9 million. At the moment, Los Angeles is about $45,000 below that limit. A tricky situation. Moreover, the LA team can't receive more than they send out which also complicates things since they need to have at least 14 players on their roster. Meanwhile, the Warriors are nearly $534,000 below their salary cap, a reality that has become even more challenging with the recent additions of DeAnthony Melton, Buddy Heald, and Kyle Anderson. Therefore, the Warriors have no room to absorb the extra salary that the Lakers would need to offload. For such a trade to happen, the inclusion of other teams would be necessary to make the scenario viable. A four-team trade proposal stands out as one of the best possibilities for bringing Curry to Los Angeles. While the idea might seem surreal, it's not entirely impossible. Four-team trade proposal. The Lakers would receive Steph Curry from the Warriors, Daron Sharp from the Nets, Wendell Moore Jr. from the Pistons, $3.9 million trade exception, Jalen hood Shafino. The Warriors would receive Austin Reeves from the Lakers, Ben Simmons from the Nets, unprotected 2029 and 2031 first-round picks from the Lakers, $2.4 million trade exception, Curry. The Nets would receive D'Angelo Russell from the Lakers, Rue Hakimura from the Lakers, Gabe Vincent from the Lakers, Jalen hood Shafino from the Lakers, $23.3 million trade exception, Simmons, $2.0 million trade exception, Dennis Schroeder. The Pistons would receive Dennis Schroeder from the Nets, Christian Wood from the Lakers, 2025 second round picks from the Clippers and the Heat, $4 million from the Lakers, why would the Lakers make this trade? The Lakers couldn't pass up a chance like this, regardless of the consequences. Giving up two first-round picks and their third-best player, Austin Reeves, might seem like a big sacrifice, but the possibility of having Curry and LeBron on the court together is irresistible. For fans, the idea of seeing these two stars compete alongside each other certainly generates a lot of excitement. How would you feel about seeing them play together? Wouldn't it be a spectacle? With the two picks involved, the Lakers would no longer have resources for future trades, 
as the 2025 pick would go to the Hawks and the 2027 pick to the Jazz with protection. However, they could offer trades in 2026, 2028, and 2030 if they manage the situation correctly. Moreover, even if they lose some key pieces, the team would still retain its core with Anthony Davis, Rookie Connect, and Bronny James. The addition of Sharp, a young center, and more, who can play as a backup, would help balance the team. Do you think losing Reeves would be worth it if it meant Curry joining? To complete the roster, the Lakers would need to sign two veterans to minimum contracts, possibly targeting players like Sadie Osman or Mark L. Fultz. It's a challenging task, as the team would have to rely on the health of its players and the performance of the younger ones. Do you believe these young players could play crucial roles next season? What would the Warriors gain? It's important to remember that everything begins and ends with Curry. If he truly wants to leave, the Warriors need to consider their options. By receiving two unprotected first-round picks, the Warriors would be well-positioned for a more effective rebuild in the future. Would they be ready for that? In addition to those picks, the arrival of Austin Reeves brings a promising guard who could pair well with Brandon Podziemski. And with the inclusion of Simmons, the Warriors could free up a significant amount of money next summer. The question is whether this will be enough to ensure a competitive future. We all know that, even with two recent titles, Golden State has no guarantees that the same lineup will work indefinitely. Why do the Nets and Pistons get involved? As for the Nets, after trading Mikel Bridges, the team gave a clear signal that they were in rebuilding mode. With the possibility of acquiring picks in 2025 and maintaining salary flexibility, there's no doubt they see significant value in this trade. Do you think the idea of getting rid of Simmons and acquiring Russell and Hakimura makes sense for them? The Pistons, who are in a similar rebuilding process, would add Schroeder as an experienced backup while shedding some difficult contracts. While it's not an immediate impact deal, it's a strategic move that could bring long-term benefits. Finally, this trade proposal illustrates well how complex NBA negotiations can be. What do you think about this hypothetical trade? Should Curry really consider a move to Los Angeles, or does he still have what it takes to stay with Golden State? We're eager to hear your opinions in the comments.